I have something exciting to share with you guys today. Um, kind of this little process that I use to see if a blogging topic that I want to blog about or suggest to somebody is actually popular and to see if it's not just like a fad, if it has some consistent consistency behind it. Um, so there's super simple tips and tricks that you can use that I'll show you today, how to find popular um, topics to blog on if you already have your blog established. If you don't have your blog up already, this can help you discover like, is this something that you want to blog about long term? All right. So kind of like that idea generation to see like, what do I blog about? Like there's so many blogs out there. What do I blog about? Should I do it? Should I not do it? You should do it. It's going to be a lot of hard work, but it's going to be fun. And I'm going to show you how to find really cool ideas. Hi, Sandra. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Kripa. Um, oh man, she said her baby just woke up, so she'll be back. No worries. Um, you can always watch the replay. Um, and I might, normally I put these videos on YouTube too. So hopefully you guys can see them there. All right. So let's go into kind of the little strategy that I use to find popular blog topics. And then once I'm done with that, I'll go, um, check out the comments and questions and I'll ask or answer any questions live. All right. All right. So I have Pinterest open. We all are pretty familiar with Pinterest and, um, and how to use it as a pinner, right? But I didn't even know this. Um, I, I kind of discovered this on Pinterest, um, a couple weeks ago, but they have this little discover tab right here at the top. So if you click on that, it looks like a little compass. If you click on that, you can go and see what's actually trending on Pinterest right now. So this is what's hot right now on Pinterest. This is what people are searching for. This is, if you write something, I know it's, it's a little tailored to what I actually search for. So these are hot topics on topics that I'm interested in. Um, but this is showing what people are searching for on Pinterest and Pinterest is great to use kind of as that idea generation, um, source. So what you could do then, okay, so you can look at everything that's trending or you can go down to a specific, say for example, you have lots of like kids activities or outdoor stuff. Um, you can click on the outdoors tab here. Let's see, okay. And then you can see right here, like it's telling you exactly what you should be blogging about. If you're talking about out outdoorsy stuff, traveling, RV camping, decorating, like this stuff is hot right now. I'm not the only person thinking about like living in an RV. Um, bus renovation, um, RV living full time. So once you see some topics that are popular on Pinterest, you kind of want to make sure that they're not just a fad, right? You want to make sure that, okay, you're going to blog about it. Hopefully it has some steam behind it so that if you take the time and write a blog post about it and do the research and take pictures and do all that, there's going to be some traction you're going to get. So what I do then I use Pinterest and Google trends. So then I'll go to Google trends and I'll open that. And this is kind of using the power of Pinterest and Google and seeing if there's that in that Venn diagram where they combine and if the, the topic is popular. So a couple ones that I recently researched that I really like, um, is camper living. So that's what I got from Pinterest here, like, right. Um, camper organization, um, RV camping decorating. So one thing I typed in here was camper living. Cause that's actually the keyword that came up when I did this a couple nights ago. And you can see here, let's do over the past five years, you can drop down. You can see it's slowly trending up. All right. So it's not like skyrocketing up, but it is trending up. Like this is a good trend to follow if you want to start talking about camper living. Um, another one that correlates a lot with this um, that I saw on Pinterest like two nights ago. So check this out frequently because like a couple nights ago, I saw different key terms. I saw van life instead of van living. So what I did here was I typed in van life. And you can see van life is picking up steam. So if you guys can talk about van life or camper living, that's pretty good. Um, another cool topic that I saw that might be a little bit more related. Um, where did I go? I went, was it health? 
I think it might have been health or it was food. Let's see if we drop down to food. Um, gosh, so these things update frequently because a couple nights ago there were different key terms on here. So that's really cool. So you should check it out. What I saw a couple nights ago was actually the term fat bombs. So before I had no idea what a fat bomb was. So I'll go ahead and remove these and I'll change this to fat bomb. Does anybody in the comments know what a fat bomb is? Anyway, look at the trend of fat bombs. So that's over the past, there you go, past five years, past 12 months. Let's go back. All right, so you can see the popularity of fat bombs are increasing because fat bombs, I think they relate to keto diet or the keto diet. So if you type in keto, it's another term I saw. Look at that, that's intense. That's huge. Guys, if you have a food blog and you're okay talking about different kind of topics, maybe incorporating a couple posts on the keto diet. Look at that trend, that's, that's insane. I guess everybody's trying the keto diet now. Um, that could be something popular. So that's how I use Pinterest. I would go to like the discover tab here, go down to the different categories and then look them up on Google Trends and see what's trending. So that's a good way to kind of see what's popular and what you should blog about. So at least you know people are searching for it. This is very high level. It doesn't show you exactly like what the competition is on if you could rank for these, but at least it gives you a good popular topic to start blogging about. So at least you're writing about something that people search for. All right, so there is a link to the post in the description where I actually give you a couple more um, examples. Let's show you one more that I really liked. I found it on Pinterest. I looked at the pins I saw it was popular. And then I looked on Google Trends. It's called Letterboard. So you guys know what letterboards are, right? They're everywhere. Everybody has like these cute little letterboards and they have cute little quotes on them, right? So you might not want to create an entire blog about letterboarding, but you could incorporate that into your blog post and increase the popularity of it. So again, go to the link that's in the description. Another link that I have in the description for you guys, this is gold, this is so cool you guys are gonna love it, is this. All right, so this was a link that Pinterest shared on their business page, um, and it shows you exactly what's popular on Pinterest throughout the year. This is pretty cool. So the link is right in the description. It's a PDF, you can download it. Um, it shows you exactly what like what's going on in Pinterest. Um, Two million people have saved a hundred billion pins, that's insane. And this one's pretty cool. I love this chart. So it's showing you like when interest start to spike on Pinterest, when you should start promoting those pins or pinning them um, so that you can start getting traction. So New Year's stuff in October, that's when you should start loading those New Year's pins, those start New Year's resolutions, how to plan for the new year. Like you can start pinning those things in October and they're gonna start getting traction. That's what Pinterest is showing you here. Um, another one for God, Easter. Easter starts in January. So if you blog about Easter activities or food or cakes you can decorate for Easter, start promoting it on Pinterest in January. That's when Pinterest is seeing like that interest is starting to pick up steam. Um, let's see, where are we now? We're in August. I don't know what festival is. I don't know what kind of festival that is. Um, back to school stuff, obviously. You could have, you probably should have started pinning that a little earlier than right now. Um, what's this one? Labor Day. If you guys have any Labor Day stuff, you can start pinning that. That's gonna start getting up traction now. Um, the yellow one is Halloween. So Pinterest is telling you Halloween posts are starting now in August to start to get some traction. So start putting those. All right, if you scroll through this amazing PDF, it shows you like month by month what is popular. This is March, this is April. It's so beautiful. I wanna create a beautiful PDF like this. Um, and then say for example, Mother's Day, if you're targeting that, these are popular search terms. So brunch for Mother's Day, DIY gifts, crafts for kids, 
Um, let's look at Halloween because that's something that's coming up now that you guys should start pinning now on Pinterest. Halloween. Costumes, decorations, makeup, and food. All right, so those are popular search items for Halloween. Diwali, Thanksgiving, Black Friday, hol holiday season. Really, really cool stuff. Okay, so that's all in the link in the description. Also, if you're brand new and you don't know where to start your blog, I do have a link to all the courses and the ebooks that I offer. Um, you guys can check that out too.